Hey, 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 it's your brother Van Silk sitting up here on a Saturday afternoon. Not in my house. Right now we're live here on Instagram. And boy, I'd like to start off today saying, rest in peace to Mr. Haskin that plays for, used to play, play for the Pittsburgh Steelers, who was killed today or early this morning in a car accident. Uh, sad to say that we lost another young gentleman at the age of 24, 25 years old. He was, um, Dwayne Haskin was walking down uh, in South Florida, 595, and uh, a dump truck hit him. Now, what he was doing on 595, I have no idea. All I know is that the brother's no longer here you know, he might have had the starting job. Let me know. Um, Hip Hop Fundamental t-shirt. Got on the Hip Hop Fundamental bees today. Um... Definitely want to talk about August 6th out in Queens at the Forest Hill Stadium. LL Cool J Rock the Bells concert. Well, Rock the Bells Festival. Um, that's going to be exciting. Uh, let me go and see to make sure I, I know all the acts that's going to be on the Rock the Bells Festival. Um, if you go to if you go on to uh, Instagram, go to Rock the Bells. Tickets went on sale, I think, yesterday. So it's LL Cool J. Oh, come on, they got the moving. Tickets on sale now. It's about the Bell Festivals. LL Cool J. Uh, I'll give you the lineup. And, and it's a great lineup. And I was watching people like, oh, how are all these actors going to perform? Like, evidently, y'all ain't really been to any concerts lately. But uh, LL Cool J, Ice Cube, is going to get the most time. LL Cool J and Ice Cube is going to get the most time. Jada Kiss, Little Kim, and Rick Ross. Rick Ross might get 20 minutes. Then you got Fat Joe, Mary Ma, you got the Diplomats, you got Nori, you got Scarface, Trina, and you got Diggable Planets. Hosted by Roxanne Shante, music by Mr. C and DJ Scratch. And they're adding a few more artists on to the Rock the Bells Festival. Now, that's going to be at the Forest Hill Stadium in Queens. Okay, August 6, 2022. So not only do you go and, uh, you know, get your tickets. Also, subscribe to the Rock the Bells channel on Sirius XM Radio, channel 43. A lot of great shows on there from Shaw Rock, the Grandmaster Cast, that to join. You got, on the weekends, you have uh, Chuck Chill Out. During the week, you got Roxanne Shante and Cool V. You have other shows on there. And there's nothing wrong with just supporting. Uh... I'd like to say happy birthday to my friend Claudia Jordan. Uh, she had turned 49 years old. She's on Fox Fox Soul, along with Vivica Fox, Lisa Ray, and Selena Johnson. But she's the she's the host host of the show. And I wish my girl Claudia Jordan at Claudia Jordan a happy birthday. Um, that's just the way we do things. Uh, Grandmaster Cash on the 18th have his birthday party in the Bronx. Tickets are on sale. You can follow Grandmaster Cass on Instagram at the Real Grandmaster Cass. You know all this stuff I'm doing for people. Nobody never come back and hit me off. Like yo, Van, we gonna look out for you. Yo, we gonna support you. We gonna shout you out. Nobody. Everybody's just greedy, 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 greedy. It's all good. I definitely like to sit up here and talk about a, a lot of different things. If anybody has something they want to bring up to me, let me know. Doors are open. I don't like controversial uh, topics. What up, Fluffy Dice? I guess I'm saying the name right. Fluffy Dice. I'm working on the 49th. Turn on, here we go. The 50th anniversary documentary, which is going to be five two-hour series. Five 
two hour part series, which would be 10 hours in total, which I'm covering the first 25 years of hip hop, meaning that I'm doing from 73 to 98, the most important years in hip hop. And if you want to donate, there, if you go to the top of my page here on Instagram. There's a GoFundMe link in the bio. You could just, I don't care, as small as $5, $10, $15. Please support. Also, uh, we're looking for artifacts, old flyers and stuff that can be put into the Universal Hip Hop Museum, which is opening in 2024 in the Bronx. Universal Hip Hop Museum, the executive director is Rocky Bucano. And uh, Pete Knight from Third Base and Paradise from X Clan has been the curators who's been putting a lot of stuff in the revolution of hip hop. You know, where it's it's just more like a pop up, but it's it's there until the museum open. And there's been a lot of events happening over there. A lot of people have come in through and visit there. And at the end of the day, it's something great for the culture of hip hop because we we coming upon 50 years next year. It'll be 50 years, man. And some of y'all is not even 50 years old. And uh, it's, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, um, we have to appreciate in the culture of hip-hop. You know, the sad part about all this, I'm doing all this yapping, and instead of me marking the stuff that I'm talking about so I can have it in, in my book, but I guess as I'm talking, I can remember some of the people that I'm talking about and I could just tag them into it. Matter of fact, why don't y'all just give me 10 seconds and let me get a pen. Here we go. So I'm back. Uh, if anybody, uh, we talk about the Rock the Bells Festival. You know, I think it's something we all should go to. The Hip Hop Museum. I'm going to put all this stuff in the tag in the link. The 50th anniversary of hip hop. I have a book that I write all this stuff in. And, um... Also, Ralph McDaniel's video music. You know, um, and, and when it comes to hip hop, um, I like to also, uh, I, I forgot to say, uh, Grandmaster Cass' birthday. Um, also at the Lincoln Center, the 15th. Mama Soul and Tierra Wack 
They all will be at the Kennedy Center, a I Am Woman celebration of hip hop. Okay? And it's, this, it's gonna be April 15th at the Kennedy Center for You're probably going to enjoy it, and um, I, I also did a taping of it for Unsung. It has something to do with hip hop, and um, I had to do it without my glasses, so I hope I looked okay. My skin was worse than what. She don't look nowhere near 49. No kids. Wow. We got a lot of beautiful sisters in this industry that's not married. I mean, from Lisa Ray to Regina Hall, Regina King. Um, um. with his wife and the whole Chris Rock thing. And at, at, at a certain point, I'm starting to feel sorry for Will Smith because I think he's a battered husband. Looking at some of the old video when Jaden wanted to tape him for the beginning of Red Table Talk during the COVID and he... Uh, and I know it's early, it's Saturday. A lot of people got a lot of things that they're doing. Now I'm looking at this on my iPad and I don't know why my iPad is paused, but I see that it's live here.
the day of deliberation, they changed his from murder to to um man to manslaughter, and he was found guilty of manslaughter. He only did four and a half years. So now we're gonna figure out when he go May fourth, what they're gonna do. They're gonna give him a five more years, or they're gonna give him the max twenty five. Like he never had a criminal record before. Instead of one time he was stopped with a gun. You know, Creole always carry a gun. But the whole point comes down to there's worse people out here that's done worse. And 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 they get a little bit of time. Kind of generations, because no, it's impossible for somebody who wasn't even born to be around in the eighties to see the greatness of a Cool Mo D or a Melly Mel or or Grandmaster Cass or the Funky Four or, or these groups that 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 they get left out. You know, these young guys, you cannot blame them because they don't know. they barely 25. So you can't get them to go back 30 and know, unless you're a connoisseur of hip-hop. So I think the first 25 years and those from 80 to 90, I think we need to have our own entity of how we interject the stuff that we do. You know, the Positive K, the Law Finesse, you know, the Slick Rick, the Dougie Fresh, Big Daddy Kane, EPMD, all of us. We need the, the Houdinis. We need to garnish that shit to us. Because we don't we don't get the highlight. You know, MC Shan was on Drink Champ. Recently, I know Red Alert was on there. You know, Grandmaster Cab was on there, but he was on there with Russell Peters. But at the end of the day, we need to have our own platform because unless you... Got locked up, shot somebody, did something negative. It seems like a lot of these platforms don't want to have a conversation about real hip hop. And some of the questions they ask is ridiculous. And a lot of these podcasters and YouTubers and the, the uses of the word nigga is really, really extremely out of hand. Why don't you come up with another term? Like call them pilgrims or something. You know, well, why will you? Nigga, this. Oh, my nigga, you my nigga, this. No, I'm not. Your nigga. And I, you know, I try to stay away from the YouTube things. I I, I like what Hus, Hus, I like Hassan Campbell, okay. And I reached out to him today because it seemed like yesterday he had a bad day, like he broke down on YouTube. But then I also look at what Kwame Brown does, and sometimes he he gets straight away. Then you got uh, academics, who's basically really for the generation that's out now. That's what he do. Then you have No Jumper with Adam 22. Okay. Then you have uh, uh, Big U uh, with World Star Hip Hop. Then you got uh, Million Dollars Worth of Game with Gilly the Kid and Wallow 267. And then you got Drink Champs with Effin and, 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 um, and, and Nori. And uh, Little Kim, uh, not Little Kim, Nicki Minaj got her Nicki Dreams, whatever. And then you got the Joe Buttons podcast, but I want to put the Van Silk not in my house in as well. But I want to be on a level of, of 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 a little different. You know, I want to have real conversations, real topics. That's what I want to do. But like I said, this is Van Silk not in my house. You know, I got on the hip hop uh, fundamental T-shirt and. The, got the beats and, and we're going to put together the plan for hip hop fundamental and things that we do but I just want people to understand like listen man 
all we need to do is support each other and everything will work its own way out. If we don't support each other, it won't work. You know, shout out to my man Rico. I understand where you was coming from today, homie. I was just messing with you. <laughs> you know, I do like Kanye. He's got a couple of good records. Um, I also want to put a, a prayer out, and I want everybody to pray for my brother DJ K Slay, who's been inactive and sick since December 17th when he caught, well, he had the pneumonia. When I was speaking to him, he never said he had the pneumonia. Then he got sick with COVID, and then the hearing of him having a stroke, and it's been four months, going on five months of inactivity because he's not well, and I'm hearing that he's not looking, he's not doing good. And this will tear me apart because me and K. Slay have a lot of history together. When he came home in 97, me and him have a lot of history. You know, I helped him with a lot of stuff that he's been involved in. And I really, truly, I, I can't. You know, we lost Biz Markie. You know, I knew him since he was 15. We lost... Uh, Kango Kid from Cancer in December. We lost Jesse from the Force MD. I knew him when I first put the Force MCs on. You know, we lost Prince Marky D. We lost Ecstasy. I mean, we losing, brother. We lost DMX. You know, you know, some by natural causes and some by what I would call it, bad judgment. 